Okay, I've got GIMP open because GIMP has a threshold tool that works pretty well. Uh, and uh, I've got the ink drawing of the Swainson's Hawk. I did not do this drawing. I wish I had. I wish I had the patience to draw the feathers, but I don't. Okay, first thing you're going to do is notice how GIMP is laid out. You have menus across the top. Now I may have a few menus, especially these here at the end, the video, the script, and the FX Foundry, um, because I've downloaded some extras, namely the GIMP extensions. And uh, But everything else here is the same. You have the toolbar on the left, and this is open to the tool options. I've got the magnifying glass clicked on right now, so the tool options have to do with zooming in and zooming out and auto resizing the windows. On this side now, you will when you open GIMP, you will not have this whole line of things along here. You'll have the layers, palette, etc. How you get these things up here is see this little tiny arrow over here on the right. If you click on it and go down to add tab, you get a whole list of things you can put up there. And what you have to have up there generally is your layers panel. And that's right here at the top. So you just, if that's not there, you can just click on it and get it there. Okay. Uh, layers panel is open. We do not really need to use the layers panel for what we're going to do in cleaning up this ink drawing. First thing you need to do is click on the magnifying glass. And let me show you a little trick. If you, of course, click, it magnifies and comes in closer. And then to zoom out, you can come over here and click zoom out and click again. Well, instead of going back and forth, back and forth, you can also hold down. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little plus sign right above the magnifying glass icon. If you hold down the control key on your keyboard, that plus sign turns into a minus sign. And you just click and it goes out. For right now, I wanted to just show you all of the gray that's in here on an image. You can see this gray scattered around above, and, and all the white spaces have these little gray pixels in them. And we want to get rid of those, okay? You just want dark and light. You just want a contrasting dark and light uh, image with an ink drawing. So you're going to come up here to Tools, to play, two ways to get to this tools color tools and for some reason you'll find threshold and levels here or just go to the colors menu and you'll also find threshold and levels um, you just pick one and normally in an RGB image by the way this image is grayscale I can come up here and show you image mode it's grayscale and you can leave it as grayscale or in Photoshop and Photoshop elements you have to change it to RGB in GIMP you do not so here's the levels, adjustment dialog or window, and you know, there are presets here because I've used it while I practiced doing this. But in the middle here, as I said, if you have an RGB or regular image, you're going to get a little graph-like thing in here showing you where your white points and your gamma points and your black points are. Now what are white points, gamma points, and black points? They're represented by these little triangles. And these triangles, you can click on them and move them. And you'll notice as you move it, things change in your image. But right now, we don't actually need to move the black point at all. First thing we're going to do is we're going to move this gamma point a little bit down here to the right. Just a little bit. And you can see that darkens all these scattered pixels. And we're going to move the white point up until we get rid of them. Okay. Now you might want to, uh, oh, I didn't click OK. Buh. Let's try it again. Color tools, levels. Okay, move it in till we darken those pixels. Move the white point over until they disappear. Now you have to kind of set a, a, a limit in your mind's eye. How gray do you want the gray to disappear? I'd like this right here this kind of color this kind of color sticking out to also disappear so I'm going to keep going over until those are gone 
There we go. I want those lines to I want those lines to open up a little bit. Okay. There we are. And click OK. If you want to know what it looks like, I can also go to View, Zoom, and 50%. And it looks pretty good. Cleaned up quite a bit. Now let's uh, take our magnifying glass once again. Zoom in on a part. You can still see there are a few little, little errant gray, but it doesn't matter. The lines have gotten awfully thin. Now we're going to use Threshold bring those lines back a little bit you can see how they already did and this we, we only have black and white points here and you just want to move the black point to bring those lines back in that's why having two thin lines sometimes doesn't hurt because those lines are going to thicken up as we use that threshold tool and like I said you're going to be doing this eyeballing it so you may have to undo and um, undo and redo a couple of times until you get it looking like it should look. And there's our cleaned up image. Cleans up really nicely. And you'll probably still have a few little, you know, if you check it out really close. You know, there may be a few errant little pixels you don't want to see in there. But maybe not. Okay, back to our view. All right. And now saving this guy, now that we've cleaned him up, has a bitmap. Go to File, go all the way down to Export As. The first thing you want to do is, where it's blue up here, start typing. Never overwrite your original drawing. I mean, that is just awful, especially if it's, it's original art. So I'm just going to call this GIMP Hawk ED for Edited. And down here, I've already gotten to Windows Bitmap, but click on this arrow, and you'll be up here where it says All Files, blah, 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 all the way down to the bottom. And for a BM, BMP extension bitmap, you're just going to click on Windows Bitmap. There is a regular bitmap, B-I-T-M-A-P extension, but you don't see that much anymore. Generally, bitmap is BMP. And so you're just going to click on that and then click on export and you'll get this quality. I usually keep it around 90. You know, if you want, you can put it up to 95. And advanced options, I just use default. And, well, export it and you're done. And that's all you have to do. That's as simple as it is. Um, very easy in GIMP. Um, GIMP like uh, GIMP is a large program, so you know you might want to try a few other things while you're learning to use it. There are both Windows and Mac versions for it, and uh, enjoy.